A proposed wave function. A fellow student proposes that a possible wave function for a pre-particle with mass capital M, one for which the potential energy function u of x is zero, is psi of x is equal to e to the plus kappa x for x negative and minus e to the minus kappa x for x greater or equal to zero, where kappa is a positive constant. Part A, graph this proposed wave function. Part B, show that the proposed wave function satisfies the Schrodinger equation for x negative if the energy is minus h bar square kappa square over 2m, that is, if the energy of the particle is negative. Part C, show that the proposed wave function also satisfies the Schrodinger equation for x positive or equal to zero with the same energy as in part B. Part D explained why the proposed wave function is nonetheless not an acceptable solution of the Schrodinger equation for a pre-particle. Hint, what is the behavior of the function at x equals zero? It is in fact impossible for a pre-particle, one for which the potential energy is zero, to have an energy less than zero. Okay, so uh, the the function is e to the plus kappa x for x negative, e to the minus kappa x for x positive. That's an exponential decay. So x is positive, kappa is positive. This is exponentially decaying. A kappa is positive, x is negative. It's exponentially decaying. So this is the graph of the proposed wave function. Now we, we will check if this function satisfies the Schrodinger's equation. So Schrodinger's equation... Uh, that is time independent Schrodinger equation for one dimension minus h bar squared divided by 2m second derivative of the wave function psi is equal to energy times the wave function psi and Recall that this is for a free particle, so the potential energy is zero in this Schrodinger equation. For x negative, minus h bar square divided by 2m, the solution was e to the plus kappa x. So if I take the derivative of e to the plus kappa x with respect to x, I will get kappa times e to plus kappa x. Second derivative will give me kappa square e to the kappa x. So this is kappa square e to the kappa x, which is equal to energy times e to the kappa x. Now you can see that e, the exponential terms will cancel out. And I will be left with an energy. What is the resulting energy? Energy E should be equal to minus h bar square over 2m kappa square. Now, if x is positive or greater or equal to 0, positive, greater or equal to 0, uh, we can see that now the Schrodinger equation will be minus h bar squared divided by 2m. The derivative of exponential minus kappa x will give me minus kappa for the first derivative, second derivative, another minus kappa, minus kappa parenthesis squared plus kappa squared e to the minus kappa x is energy times e to the minus kappa x. Once again, the same thing will happen. The exponential terms will cancel out. And I will be left with the energy e is equal to minus h bar square over 2m kappa square. So uh, it indeed satisfies Schrodinger's equation uh, if the energy is given by minus h bar square kappa square over 2m. Now part D says this does not satisfy uh, Schrodinger. Uh, this, this is not an acceptable wave function even though it satisfies the Schrodinger equation. Why is that? Well, 
First of all, I want to notice what is happening at x is equal to 0 plus. If I look at the derivative of the uh, wave function, d psi dx at x is equal to 0 plus, there the solution was e to the minus kappa x, so it is minus kappa e to the minus kappa x, and I'm substituting x is equal to 0 plus. This is going to give me e to the 0 is 1, so it is minus kappa. Now, if I look at the derivative of the wave function for 0 minus d psi dx at x is equal to 0 minus, where the solution was e to the plus kappa x, the derivative gives me kappa e to the plus kappa x, where I'm substituting x is equal to 0 minus. This will give me e to 0, which is 1, plus kappa. And remember, kappa is a positive number. So what is the conclusion? These two are not the same. The derivative of the wave function is not continuous at x is equal to 0. But we know that it's one of the requirements that the wave function must and its der derivative must be continuous. So the solution is not acceptable. Another thing we can notice is that the energy that we've calculated is negative. We know the potential energy of the particle is zero. We only have kinetic energy term left and the kinetic energy cannot be negative. So this is not allowed. So as it is mentioned here, it's in fact impossible for every particle to have an energy less than zero also applies. So we can say that also uh, for this particle E, the total energy cannot be negative. Okay. Therefore, this wave function is not an acceptable solution of the Schrodinger equation. So in this problem, we've looked at a proposed wave function and tried to see if this is acceptable. First, we graph the wave function for x greater or equal to zero and for x less than zero, e to the plus kappa x, e to the minus kappa x. It's an exponential decay as we go away from uh, x equals zero in both directions. The time-independent one-dimensional Schrodinger equation is here for a zero potential energy for a free particle. If we substitute the solution, the second derivative gives us kappa square for this solution and also for this solution. Therefore, the energy turns out to be minus h bar square kappa square over 2 amp. So it does satisfy Schrodinger's equation with this negative energy. However, as we can notice here, the slope is going to change as, as I go from 0 minus to 0 plus. So you can see that explicitly here, if I take a derivative of the wave solution for x greater than 0, the slope is minus kappa. For x less than 0, the slope is plus kappa. These two are not the same. The first derivative is not continuous. Therefore, the solution is not acceptable. And the other observation is that the energy that we calculate here with zero potential energy cannot be negative. So this would imply that I have negative kinetic energy, which is not possible. So we cannot accept the proposed uh, solution uh, as a wave function, uh, as a physical wave function solution of the Schrodinger equation.